Hello everyone, welcome to Mastermind. Today let us learn about theory on permutations and combination in this video. It is very important to solve quantitative aptitude questions based on permutations and combination. So first of all, let us see the factorial notation. What is factorial notation? So in order to understand what is factorial notation, let us consider n to be a positive integer. If n is considered to be a positive integer, then n factorial, n factorial is usually denoted by this symbol or this symbol. So n factorial becomes n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to 3 into 2 into 1. In other words, factorial of a whole number n is defined as the product of that number with every whole number less than or equal to n till 1. So now let us calculate the value of 5 factorial. According to this formula, 5 factorial equals 5 into 5 minus 1 is 4 into 5 minus 2 is 3 into 5 minus 3 is 2 into 5 minus 4 equals 1. Therefore, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 becomes 120. Therefore, the value of 5 factorial or 5 factorial denoted by this symbol is 120. Now let us calculate the factorials of some more numbers. Let us now see the factorial of 4. So 4 factorial is nothing but 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is 24. 3 factorial becomes 3 into 2 into 1 which is 6. 2 factorial becomes 2 into 1 which is 2. 1 factorial equals 1. But 0 factorial is also 1. Please remember this is a very important formula while solving permutations and combinations. The value of 0 factorial is 1. You don't have to know why 0 factorial equals 1. How to prove that 0 factorial equals 1. But you will have to know the value of 0 factorial equals 1. Because this will be used in solving many problems. Factorial notations is usually used in permutations and combinations. They are commonly used in permutations and combinations. Let us see what is permutation and what is combination now. Now, let us see what is permutation and combination side by side. Permutation means different arrangements, different arrangements of a given number of things by taking some or all at a time. Whereas combination means it is selection. Please remember combination means selection. Each of the different groups or selections which can be formed by taking some or all of a number of objects is called as combination. So permutations in other words means an ordered arrangement of outcomes and it can be calculated with the formula NPR equals N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. Whereas Combination in other words means grouping of outcomes in which order doesn't matter. It can be calculated using the formula NCR, NCR equals N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. So this is the formula used to calculate combination. So let us understand this with an example. Let us say there are three letters A, B, C. There are three letters A, B, C. Even in combination, there are three letters A, B, C. Now, if we have to select, there are three letters here. There are three letters again here. Therefore, N becomes three here. If we have to take two or arrange two at a time, then it is 3P2. That is arranging three letters taken two at a time. Whereas combination becomes selecting two people or two letters out of three letters. So here we do 3P2, here we do 3C2. So when we do this, when we make all the permutations with the letters ABC, taking two at a time, then we get AB, BA, AC, CA, BC and CB as arrangements. Whereas when we do the same thing with combination we get AB, BC and CA. You have to note that AB and BA are two different arrangements or permutations while 
AB and BA are same combination. So this is very important. This is the basics of permutations and combination. So when three letters are considered and two are taken at a time to arrange, then we get six outcomes. Whereas when we select two out of three, we get only three possibilities. Secondly, all permutations made with the letters ABC, taking all the three at a time are ABC, ABC, ACB, BAC, CAB, BCA and CBA. While the selection that can be formed of three letters ABC, taking all the three at a time is only one that is ABC. So it is the only combination possible when all the three letters are taken. In other words, number of all permutations of n things taken all at a time is n factorial, while number of all combinations of n things taken all at a time is only one. Now let us calculate the value of 3p2 and 3c2, 3p2 as well as 3c2. If we substitute this for the formula n p r equals n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, we get 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial, which is nothing but 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 1, which is equal to 6. Whereas when we calculate for 3 c2, the formula is n c r equals n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. So we get 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So which is nothing but 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 1 factorial into 2 factorial. So which is nothing but 6 divided by 1 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 3. Therefore when three letters a b c are arranged taken two at a time we had six arrangements a b b a a c c a b c and c b whereas when we had to select among three letters taking only two at a time we had only three combinations which are those a b b c and CA. Again, please note that AB and BA are same combinations while AB and BA are two different permutations. Same thing holds good for 3P3 as well as 3C3. Now, let us look at a few of the very important formulae that you will have to remember. Firstly, let us look at the combinations. NCN equals 1. Please remember NCN equals 1 while NC0 equals 1 and there's one more important formula that you'll have to remember n c r equals n c n minus r first of all let us prove n c n equals 1 we all know that the formula n c r equals n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial therefore substituting r with n we get n factorial divided by n minus n factorial into n factorial which is nothing but n factorial divided by 0 factorial into n factorial. We all know that 0 factorial is nothing but 1. Therefore, n factorial divided by 1 into n factorial equals 1. Hence proved n c n equals 1. Similarly, n c not equals 1. Again, we can prove this by substituting r for 0. Then when we do this, we get n factorial divided by n minus 0 factorial into 0 factorial. Therefore, n factorial divided by n factorial into 0 factorial, which is nothing but 1. Hence, again, it is proved nc not equals 1. Similarly, ncr equals nc n minus r. When we substitute r for n minus r here, we will get to see that ncr is nothing but nc n minus r. Please remember this formula as this formula will be handy while solving many multiple choice questions. And there is one more very uh, peculiar problem that we will have to solve. Let uh, This comes in permutation. Let us say there are n objects of which 
P1 belong to one kind, P2 belong to the other kind. Likewise, there are PR kind of things. PR are alike of rth kind. And necessary condition is that P1 plus P2 plus up to PR should be equal to N. In such a scenario, permutations of N objects becomes N factorial divided by P1 factorial, P2 factorial up to PR factorial. Let us understand this with an example. Let us take the word lorry, L-O-R-R-Y. Here we have 1L, 1O, 2R and 1Y. Totally we have 5 letters. There are 5 letters. So here N becomes 5. P1 becomes, since there is 1L, P1 becomes 1. P2 becomes, since there is 1O, P2 equals 1. P3, since there are 2R, P3 becomes 2. Since there is 1Y, P4 becomes 1. Therefore, in this scenario, calculating permutation is used by this formula, n factor that is 5 factorial divided by 1 factorial into 1 factorial into 2 factorial into 1. 5 factorial is 120 divided by 2 factorial is 2. So, it, it becomes 60. So, in this scenario, the calculation of permutations when there are n objects of which P1 are alike of one kind, P2 are alike of another kind, P3 are alike of third kind and so on and P R are alike of rth kind such that P1 plus P2 plus P R equals N. Here, if you add all these things, 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 5. That is, it will be equal to N. N is 5 here. Therefore, when you add all these things, we are getting 5 as N. Therefore, in such a scenario, number of permutations of the of these n objects is n factorial divided by p factorial p1 factorial into p2 factorial up to pr factorial. So this is all about theory of permutations and combinations in this video. Please understand these concepts very well because these are the basics of permutations and combinations. Once you are very strong in the basics, solving any quantitative aptitude question will be easier. Please try to solve the two basic multiple choice questions given on the same topic. Thank you.